Hi everyone. Good morning. Uh, so in today's class, we are going to learn about Salesforce business and the training basics. Okay, so this is day one. So if you are into business analysis and if you want to become a expert in a particular uh, product, so we have Salesforce. Salesforce is one of the leading products. Uh, it is CRM based, so it's client relationship management product. And uh, uh, in order to become a Salesforce business analyst, you need to do a few things like get certified and you need to ha have some hands-on experience and uh, to apply for those jobs. So if you are looking to become a Salesforce business analyst, so these are some of the basic information that you need to know before you try to get that certification, okay? So uh, why do you want to become a Salesforce business analyst, okay? And then why why Salesforce? There are multiple products. Like, for example, when it comes to CRM, CRM means Client Relationship Management Apps. So this is product, okay? Uh, and Salesforce is a company and they have their own product, like Pega. So Pega have their own product. So Salesforce is also like product-based company. And uh, Salesforce is being used by multiple Fortune 400 companies for different purposes. So let's say like um, maybe um, Bank of America is using Salesforce for to build one of their applications. And now they want not only a plain vanilla BA, but they want someone who knows about this Salesforce product, right? That's why they want like... Um, this this person, this BA should be certified. They want some kind of experience in Salesforce because they're building their product in Salesforce. So when it comes to Salesforce, uh, you need to understand that in order to get the job as a Salesforce BA, you need to have some kind of knowledge about um, what are the different applications or apps used by Salesforce and how to use those apps? Why are we using those apps? What is the advantage of using Salesforce? Why people want Salesforce BAs? And also like for you, if you're interested in getting into Salesforce, like if you're a beginner and you have no clue what a Salesforce is, what you should do. Okay, so first I'm into that Salesforce, um, their website, okay? So if you go there, you'll be able to see like, um, if you just type in business analyst, there are like so much information about BA roles, okay? What is business and Salesforce business analyst and what are the required skills? If you see the required skills, they're just talking about common BA skills, like, that BA needs to do analysis, needs to do elucidation, needs to define a case, they have to write requirements, they have to draw all the diagrams, and they have to do all this wireframing, analytics, problem solving. This is all is plain vanilla BA. Okay. But if you want to get into Salesforce, these are some of the technical skills that is required. For example, you need to know what is app exchange, what is meant by CRM how to create reports and dash dashboards in using the Salesforce application, how to do automation, how to like uh, manage data with using Salesforce app. So you need to know how to use that platform. So it's kind of a tool, right? Salesforce is like a kind of a tool where it is integrated with multiple applications. So specifically, so these are common BA skills that you already have. But now you need to like understand about Salesforce product, okay? Why many companies use uh, Salesforce? What's the advantage of using Salesforce over other CRM applications? And why it is easy to use Salesforce? And so that are the additional um, knowledge that you need to acquire. So these are the extra knowledge that you need to understand and acquire in order to become a Salesforce BA. Okay, so the key activities is like, for example, these are plain vanilla BA, right? So you need to come, you need to communicate, you need to do elucidation, you need to document requirements, you need to analyze information. So the, you need to do testing. This and all is a given. So you're going to do that. But as a Salesforce BA, what what are you supposed to do in specific? Like what I should know in specific in order to become a Salesforce BA? So for that, they have given a few um, resources. So let's get into that uh, resources for Salesforce. So I'm into their um, resources uh, page. If you see, you have something called Trailhead. Okay, so click on 
trailhead if you click on trailhead you, they will have a lot of information about what you want to become like whether you want to become an a expert or just be so i'm right there in there um this is for ai so i am in there um, give me a second yep so i am in there um, business analyst um preparation that page okay so i will link this page because there are so many pages so you may just lose track of where you are so i will link this page in the, uh, the description so if you go to this particular page they have given like different modules of what almost 21 hours so if you see right it's almost 21 hours or 20 hours of um, materials that they have given so let's see about the exam overview so in order to become salesforce ba the expectation from salesforce is you need to have a certain understanding about certain topics for example so you need to have 2 years of experience as a ba okay and 2 years of experience by using the salesforce platform means that application you need to know also you also need to know like how to um, like um get requirements how to negotiate with the stakeholder how to manage a project or um, how to like break down complex business process into manageable steps so all this like basic ba stuff you need to know okay and who can take the certification anybody be a consultant a product owner crm manager salesforce admin anybody can take it and for this exam you will be having about 60 60 multiple choice questions and uh, you're going to have the time is like 105 minutes and uh, uh, passing score is 72 percent fees is 200 dollars and if you fail and if you want to retake again it will be 100 dollars okay and you have like multiple like choice but you can do it online or you can like go to a test center and take it and um, there is no prerequisite that you have to complete any training or nothing like that you can just uh schedule it and you can take it but it's a 60 multiple choice question okay and they have given some recommended training and resources too so in order for you to pass this exam you need to know about certain modules these are only self study so it's not that they want you to take some training from a certain academy nothing like that so they have their own training academy called trailhead academy uh, but they are also having free resources also so this itself is like huge it's about like 20 hours so you can i wouldn't expect you to do any additional um, training but you need to understand the basics of b uh, salesforce ba right so you need to go and learn so first i'm going i'm clicking on the first self study so they have given some modules like you need to know essential business analysis skills then about business performance basics and very important module this is very very important b2 mom that is very important then you need to know about like in certain about like agile basics you need to know so in salesforce like how do we integrate agile and salesforce and also how we use scrum and kanban at salesforce like they don't use jira so if you know ba you know that uh, whenever we want to write user stories or not we use a separate application right jira but in salesforce we don't do that they have an integrated app i'll show you how to use how to create user stories in that integrated app but they have their own app for creating all the user stories so that is like exciting so they have everything almost everything they are collaborating in one tool so if you log into salesforce it's like integrated with like multiple applications in the back end so you need not use multiple apps and all that so just use one tool and you are good to go that's the whole purpose of using salesforce right so but uh, they want you to know about agile they also want you to know about like um, how you can use agile in salesforce what are the different tools that they are using also this v2 mom is very very important so that also we need to know why we are using v2 mom across the company what's the purpose of v2 mom process so i'll teach this module also like why we, what is v2mom and it's actually very exciting to learn salesforce so we have, the more you understand salesforce the more excited you'll be like okay i can do everything in one application that's so exciting i need not be like logging into multiple applications and then like hurt my brain just one is fine 
and it's so simple as a ba you know you're not doing any kind of coding nothing you're not going to become like a sales or developer you have to keep that in mind your focus is like i am a ba and i need to know how to use the salesforce application and uh, as a ba like what are the best practices that you uh, you need to follow and uh, you also must know about um, applications so we have multiple applications within, within salesforce so you need to know that okay so this to complete this whole module it takes about 19 hours 30 minutes but what i will do is like whatever is essential for you guys i'm going to give like a heads up on those modules and uh, the questions can come from any module so we, there there is no like i cannot we cannot guarantee that it comes only from certain modules but this is all free the good thing good thing is this is all free so but just the exam fees is like 200 dollars i know that is expensive but the salary for a salesforce ba is very high let me show you that so if you see the salesforce ba jobs if you see the salary right you will come to know that it is like above other bas because this is like a specific skill that they're looking for and you have it you are certified so that's why they are giving you such a salary if you see here the salary is a little bit high than the normal pe okay so the expectation is like you need to know about salesforce in and out completely so and so for nay say when is when you say like you need to know about salesforce completely these are the things that they are looking for for example what are the apps inside salesforce like for example we have something called agile accelerator they want you to know about this particular app this is very crucial so we don't have jira like i told you we don't have jira uh, for salesforce right we have an inbuilt product here so that is called as agile accelerator so this is basically um this is this is a like a tool for um managing any agile project so you'll be able to create user stories within salesforce application and you must be able to navigate you manage the backlogs you can add defects you'll be able to like track all the defects so this is like it is compatible with almost every application that um inside salesforce so they, they may in the interview they, they may be asking you like okay you said you have knowledge about salesforce can you tell me like how to create user stories in salesforce or like how to create defects in salesforce can you give me an example so you cannot be like telling them yeah i got certified so i think i'll be able to do it no it's different right so you need to like practice within salesforce itself what are the different applications and how do we create users right so that practical knowledge you need to have like theory it's easy you will be able to read all the modules there is only 60 questions multiple choice answers and so you'll be able to clear it somehow but in order to have that real hands on experience uh, you have to like learn about this agile accelerator so i will also like show you a demo of how to install this how to create user stories and how how it's different from jira i can show you that but this is one important thing that you have to learn as a b agile accelerator also you you need to know about v2 mom v2 mom is also very very crucial so v2 mom is nothing but um what is v2 mom So V2 Mom is nothing but it's a framework which is at front of how Salesforce runs its business, right? So it's like how um, um, how do you like track your goals quarterly, or how do you track your goals like annually, and how the leadership is having a clear understanding of the organization priorities and everything. So it's like vision focus. So um, this also they will ask you in the interview like do you know about v2 v2 mom how to like create your own v2 mom right so how do you do that so it's like a dashboard creation so uh, how do you write your vision how do you write your values how do you make sure that your um, values are being achieved for that particular quarter and then how do you make sure that leadership is able to track that information properly so this is like data management and uh, as a b it's very very crucial for you to learn this a particular app also so these two apps v2 mom and uh, as i told you like agile accelerators are two important applications within salesforce that you need to try to learn as a ba 
but when you see as a certification uh, i think it's all theory you'll be able to clear it just by going through all these modules and then solving a few question papers and then uh, uh, because the training materials are already there so you need you need to know agile basics you need to know about scrum you need to know about kanban you need to know about how to write user stories if you know all that it's an easy breezy thing to clear the certification but actually what you need to know is like how to play inside salesforce and how to make sure that you have that like practical experience that's the huge that makes a huge difference in the interview and people will be <clears throat> people will be amazed like okay you are able to navigate each scenario and like tell me how to create a user story inside salesforce how to um, track defects how to fix a solution how to close user stories within a particular period of time that's what they want right so you must be able to know how to navigate inside salesforce app so uh, for today what we are what i'm trying to say is in order for you to get certified so the materials are already there on the website and the fees is like 200 dollars once you thoroughly read all these modules everything is free so you you should be able to complete that 20 hours uh, training and then you should be able to go to solve some question papers on the internet and if you want to take it you can take the certification is it really worth to get the certification of course it is but what is even more important is like you understanding the product the salesforce product and you playing with it like a video game like you being enjoying using salesforce so that you become expert right in a month or two you know like what to do with the product and like how to navigate salesforce and why it is very important why people want uh, salesforce ba that's the most important and crucial thing you want to do as a ba so we will look into that in the next uh, class all the modules in detail and i will also teach you about agile accelerator and um, we to mom in the next class i hope this video was helpful thank you for watching